let's introduce HTML and some simple um, tags for creating web pages. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is a standard that allowed us to create web pages. And World Wide Web and HTML is invented by Tim Berners-Lee uh, while he was working at CERN, which is a European high energy physics lab. And once you finish creating your web pages, it's a good idea to test your web pages on different browsers. Let's look at the uh, basic structure of a tag. Uh, I'm going to use H1 as an example. Um, H1 is session heading, the highest level session heading. And each tag is enclosed using angle bracket. And usually it comes as a pair with opening tag and closing or ending tag. The ending tag you need to have a forward slash in front of the tag name. Opening tag sometimes could have attribute um, associated with it and attribute can be assigned with a value. We usually will enclose those value in double quote or single quote. Uh, without quotation is acceptable but not really recommended. And so together that's an HTML element with opening tag and most likely with a matching closing tag. And between the tag, opening and closing tag, you may have some text um, in between. This is example of um, simplest HTML tag. Um, we started with HTML and inside the HTML tag we can have two sections. The first section is head section which contain meta information of the document. The body section contain the document that eventually will be displayed by the browser. So you can use any text editors or web page creation tool to create an HTML document. As long as at the end you're saving it as a pure text file with .htm or .html extension. So this is a very, very simple HTML document. Here we have a meta tag called title inside the head session and the title tag contain information that will be used um, favorably by search engine in ranking your web page. So you should um, plug in the right keyword to describe the nature of your page in the title tag. Title tag actually show up in the title bar of the browser when you try to view the document. It will not be displayed in the browser windows viewing area. And you can use Wordpad or Notepad to create your HTML document. When you save it, make sure you save it as a pure text document and save it as .html or .htm. For our assignment one, you should save your home page as index.html. If you use the Mac, then there is a text editor called text edit that may be available to you. Let's look at an example of um, a little bit more complicated HTML page and we have the HTML tag end of HTML we have the head section with title in it the body tag that's the end of the body tag this is session heading which will show up as 
AITC website, usually with, will be in bigger font. This is a new set of tag that we, we're introducing now. That UL stands for an order list or listing. And LI stands for list item. And this together allowed us to create a list of bullet point items. And each item start with LI. And you can actually type end of LI tag, the closing tag, at the end of each item. And BR means line break, um, which will force a line break uh, to the next line. For assignment one, uh, if you want to create uh, a website that um, which usually constitute several pages, and the collection of all the pages together is called a website. Uh, the first page that you usually want people to come to visit when they visit your site is referred to as a home page. And home page is also a web page uh, along with all the other web pages. And from your home page, you should have link linking to other pages. And all other pages should have link linking back to your home pages. HTML tag usually come as a pair, as we mentioned earlier. Like this is in both face. And there are some tag which are cons referred to as a singleton tag that does not have or does not have to have an ending tag. Break is a good example. Uh, horizontal ru ruler, which is draw a horizontal line, is another example. However, it is recommended you use something like this to, to write the singleton tag, which means you add a space and then a forward slash and close it. This is not the closing tag. This is actually uh, a more formal way of writing a singleton tag. Paragraph has an ending tag, but that's kind of optional. However, it is a good habit to have the closing tag, even it may be an optional one. Uh, within the tag, opening tag, you could have multiple attribute and assign value to it. Uh, this is horizontal ruler. The value can be a number, percentage, and sometimes text, and usually we put it in quotation mark. Uh, this is a special case which is an attribute that does not have value assigned to it. So we're going to introduce some basic element for HTML coding. Uh, we've done heading. We explained a little bit of he uh, heading and how to create paragraph, a list of things, etc. So let's take a look. Uh, heading 1 to 6 are session heading or session title. Um, for instance, if I have three sections, section 1 heading, section 2 heading, and section 3 heading, all of that I should use H1. If I have a subsession like 2.1, then I should use H2. Uh, the sub subsection like 2.2.1, then I should use H3. And the browser will decide the font and the size of for the text that's used for the heading 1, 2, or 3, etc. This is um, actually a pretty comprehensive view of um, what a web um, development environment looks like. And first of all, you need to have some kind of HTML editor to create your HTML page, save it as a pure text file, as an HTML file, which is a pure text file. 
and sometimes you would find some conversion to convert existing documents such as Word document into HTML. Uh, Dreamweaver um, is a web development tool which uh, have done a pretty decent job in converting Word's document in HTML. You can incorporate image into your HTML document. An image usually will be created through some image imaging tools such as uh, Photoshop, some line art drawing tool like Illustrator. Uh, most of the image will be in the format of uh, GIF or JPEG, GIF or JPG format. You can also incorporate some multimedia document. And you can create your web page and then test it locally th uh, using a browser. However, in order to host your web pages on a web server for the whole world to see, then you need to have, um, you can use FTP tool to, to transfer your file from a local, local machine to a web server. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. Um, as CSU Channel Island, uh, you can also use Dolphin file uh, to upload your document. Uh, there is a separate video demo explaining how to do this. Um, once you upload your file into um, your web student web space, this is how you can get access to that student web space. Assuming your uh, CI, my CI username is Bob Smith, then this will be your address. This is the tail sign over here. 